Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create a basic footstep system within your games, within your projects in Unreal Engine 5. So when I say basic, this is literally, it's just going to be one footstep sound effect, but it can be on any animation, any character, any player, anything along those lines. And in a future video, I can make a more dynamic footstep system so it will play different sound effects on different materials. But today we're just doing the basic for one footstep sound effect as that's what a lot of people also need and want as well. So let me hit play and show you what it is we're going to make today. So as you can see this whole area is covered in grass and if I were to walk forward or run you can hear we've got these grass footstep sound effects playing and if I had to jump and land we also get it like that as well. So anytime our foot is hitting the floor essentially we're going to be playing a nice sound effect. And you can also tell it's not the exact same one repeated over and over. There are slight differences in the sounds. Again, this is what we're going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and show you how I've done it. So what we want to do first is we want to actually create our sound effects for our footsteps. So what I've done is I've imported two sound effects which I want to use from freesound.org and they sound like this. Now you can have one, two, three, you can use as many sound effects as you like. Obviously, the more you have, the better it's going to sound because it will sound like there is less repetition. So if you have two, what you can do is you can leave it like this and use one for the left foot and one for the right foot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them both or as many as you have, right click on one of them and create single queue. I'm then going to open up this queue and what I should have done is put in the sound effects on the left and they should be going into a random mode, which goes into the output like so. If not, what you can do is just right click get a random node, add as many inputs as you need and put in your sound effects in there. Now, if you have a lot of sound effects, that might be fine for you just like this. However, since I've still only got two, this still sounds a little too repetitive for me. So what I'm also gonna do is come out of the output and get a modulator with that output going into the final output. And this modulator is just gonna randomize the pitch and volume just to again, make it sound even more unique and different. And so there's not any repetition. The values I'm going to use are 0.9 for the pitch minimum and 1.2 for the pitch max and a 0.9 for the volume minimum and 1.1 for the volume max. You can use any values you like, but these are the ones which I found work well, at least for the sound effects which I'm using. Now if you hit space, you can hear we've got, it's going to play this cue, so it'll play a random sound effect with a random pitch and volume multiplier to it. So you can see our sound effects are going to sound a little bit something like this, or our footsteps, sorry, are going to sound a little bit something like this, which I think is perfect for me. So let's save this, close it, and now what we need to do is actually play our sound effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using animation notifiers, and this means we can play at a specific point of the animation, and then also on any character using that animation as well, so it's very nice and efficient. So let's open up our content browser, and find our animations, which for me is characters, mannequins, animations, Quinn, MF run forward, as my default animation is running. Now you can see in the mannequin animations, you've already got anime notifies here by default. I'm not gonna be using those, so don't worry if you don't have them. What we're gonna do is use the anim notify track though. So I'm gonna create a new one, but if you haven't got anything in it, don't worry. So what we're gonna do is click on the track next to notifies and add notify track then we're just going to find where we want to play the sound effect in the animation. So if we go and get a side view profile of the animation. What we can do is scroll through it until we see the foot hit the floor, as that is obviously where we want the sound effect to play. Now, obviously, I know where they're hitting because we've already got the notifies here, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. So what we can do is scroll through until you see about there. That is when the, the foot is hit the floor. So we want to play the sound. So we'll go to there in the track. We we'll then right click add notify and play sound. We'll then click the play sound notify and just change the sound to what we want it to be. So the one we just created, which for me was footstep Q like so. Then we can select this and hit control C to copy it and then just find the next foot placement. So move all the way along and it's here. And then we'll just select the track again and hit control V to paste it. And then we've got that in there perfectly like so. And you're just going to want to do this for all of the footstep placements you have within your animation. So wherever you want the footstep sound effect to play, you're just going to put that in here 
like so. And so I think that is then going to be it fully done for me. Now, if we hit space to play this animation, you will hear the footsteps working as well. So you can see what this is going to look like and hear what it's going to sound like as well. So I think this sounds pretty good and perfect for me. Now, if you wanted to do just left footstep sound and right footstep sound, if you've got two different sounds or whatever, you can just do that here instead. So on where you have the right foot falling, for example, change that to your right footstep sound effect and the left change to the left footstep sound effect. Very simple, very easy to do. And you're just going to, want to do this on all of the different animations where you want the sound effects to play. So I've got a run, but you can also then do it on walk as well in here. I'm not using that in this project though, so it doesn't matter. And what I also like to do is then go to Manny and I like to do on jump land. So if we jump and land, when our feet hit the floor, it's gonna play this sound effect as well. So I'm just gonna put that at the start here, like so. And we're gonna get something like that. So we'll save this, close it, and that is then the code fully done and working for us. We can hit play and see this working in action. So let me start running around and you can see us running and hear the sound effects playing as well. And you can hear the slight different, different versions of them as well. So the different sound effects, the different pitch, the different volume. So it's not too repetitive. And if I were to jump and land, we have the sound effect playing there as well. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up a very basic footstep sound effect system in which as we are running, our walking or jumping and landing, anytime our foot is hitting the floor, we're going to be playing this nice sound effect here like so. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.